everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make your own ice world. If we were looking for alien life in our own solar system, apart from Mars, moons like Enceladus or Europa would be good places to start. These frozen moons have watery oceans covered in ice and energy enough for plumes of water to erupt from the surface. It's thought that bigger versions of these may also be potentially habitable in other planetary systems. Future missions such as the James Webb Space Telescope will help us to find out more about these potential super frozen Earths. But for now, let's make our own frozen world. For this, you will need a bowl, some seeds or maybe some leaves from the garden. You will also need some string, a pair of safety scissors and maybe an adult to help you. and a jug of water. And don't forget a freezer to freeze it all in a little bit later. First thing to do is take your bowl and add some seeds. I've got all different sizes of seeds to stand for the possible life you might find in these watery oceans. It could be that you find extremophiles, things that live between the frozen ice sheets, or potentially different types of fish of all different sizes. I put these at the bottom of the bowl ready for the next stage. The next thing you need is some string. I cut a small amount of string and this is going to hold up your ice world when we hang it outside in the light. Just take a smallish piece, snip it with the scissors and attach this to the top of the bowl. It's not going to stick just yet, we'll need to add some water and freeze it to keep it in place. Next, add a jug of water. Fill it up as high as you can. Don't worry if you lose the string inside like I did. Just fish it out and stick it to the top of the bowl. Once it's wet, it stays still anyway. Then dip it in, add some more water and top it right up. And make sure the string is inside the water so that it freezes nice and tight to your frozen world and then you can hang it up a little bit later. There you go, we've nearly done. All we need to do now is to freeze it. Once your ice moon is frozen, this can take a couple of hours depending on your freezer. Take it out for a few moments, wait for it to defrost all the way around the edge, and then you should be able to take it out. Make sure it's properly hard. And then when you're ready, you can pop it outside. If you've got a nice sunny day, it looks lovely with the light behind it. And because we've put seeds in it, we can leave it outside for the birds as well. And now you have your finished frozen moon, you could add extra things to yours, leaves or twigs and things like that to separate ocean and land or maybe even a little bit of blue food colouring to show frozen methane that reflects the light. Whatever you choose, we'd love to see your pictures. Thanks everyone. Bye bye!